Hey guys, Alex here with UKMG webcast number 34 for week beginning November 11th, 2013. Right, so first up last week's releases, we had Arakawa, Under the Bridge, the Complete Season 1 collection, Cowboy Bebop, the Complete Collection, that was on DVD, Sengoku Basara, Samurai Kings, The Last Party, Gantz, Volume 29, Case Closed, Volume 48, Devil in a Love Song, Volume 11, Embracing Love, Tomb One Edition, Volume 2, Happy Marriage, Volume 2, Pokemon Adventures, Volumes 9, 10 and 11, Sakurahime Volume 11, Tiger and Bunny Volume 3, Tiger and Bunny Comic, The Beginning, Side A and Side B, and Tokyo Mew Mew Alan Mode Omnibus. And so this week's releases today on Monday the 11th of November, we have One Piece Uncut Collection 4, this is on DVD and has episodes 79 to 103, this is on 4 discs, and Shangri-La. Part 1. This is also on DVD and will probably have about 12 episodes on. I couldn't find out how many episodes will actually be on it, but the series is only 24 episodes long, so I assume they're just going to split it in half since there's two parts coming out. And tomorrow, on Tuesday the 12th of November, we have Inuyasha Volume 17, and on Thursday the 14th of November, we have Eggy Omnibus Volume 2, Cage of Eden Volume 12, Fairy Tale Volume 32, and From the New World Manga Volume 1. So first up for the news, we have a listing for Crunchyroll and Daisuke. They will be simulcasting the Sword Art Online Extra Edition New Year Special, which will be aired on 3pm on the 31st of December over here. But obviously that's midnight in Japan because they're nine hours in front of us. There's no information on the length of the episode, but it'd be cool if it was 40 minutes long, but it'll probably only be a normal 20 minute episode. The Blu-ray DVD combo pack of Perfect Blue has been delayed once again and Anime Limited can't seem to catch a break with this release. So now it'll see its release on the 25th of November which is only a week delay and this is due to the distributor this time and Anime Limited don't actually have a say in whether it's been pushed back or not this time. They also answered Guy's question for more information on Gorilla Gun. They said, it's great that you're all super enthused, it's on schedule for the first quarter of 2014, we'll have firmer dates towards Christmas and in the new year but we're still nailing things down. So it's really cool that they're working as hard as they can to get this release out on schedule and it hopefully won't be much longer until it's actually released, so that's awesome. Hyper Japan, who are usually organising and hosting Japanese culture events over here in the UK, have opened a store in Camden Town in London with the aim to provide opportunities for Japan enthusiasts to meet, eat, shop and enjoy themselves. We hope the Hyper Japan shop can be a place where both seasoned enthusiasts of all things Japanese and newcomers to Japanese culture can find products they like and enjoy themselves. Some of the Japanese goods that they will be stocking are alpaca goods, Japanese snacks, traditional Japanese robes, yukata, Genki Gear t-shirts, graphic which are these pip craft like anime characters and stuff you just like cut the bits out and obviously fold them together and things like that which look pretty cool and kawaii keychains. There is more information in the link below in the description. Also the b and Puppycat Kickstarter got successfully funded, so thanks to you guys if any of you went and backed it with a couple of pounds. It's pretty awesome, and it's actually going to get a full series now, which is cool. And so for the game news, Hatsune Miku Project Diva F is coming to Europe and North America early next year on the PlayStation Vita, where it will be a digital download only. Since this is coming to the Vita for us now, it probably means that the PS3 version must have done pretty well. I might end up picking this version of the game up since it's on a handheld and there's more chance of me playing it and it'll look pretty damn good on an OLED screen. There isn't any news on an exact release date as of yet, but I'll keep you up to that on when there is. And finally, a fan translation team, Sekai Project, are looking to bring two Dujin visual novels to Steam and they're currently going through the Greenlight processing system. Nasusu first and second are the VNs and they are hoping to bring them out for free or as close to free as possible on Steam. There's more information in the link below in the description. That's a link to the Greenlight page. So go check that out if you're interested. So yeah, that's it for this week's episode, guys. Thank you for watching. As usual, links are in the description below. Leave a comment in the comment section telling us what you thought was good about this episode and what I can do to make everything better as a whole. And leave a like, favourite and subscribe if you want to see more of this kind of thing. And if you are interested in any of my other series that I do, I'm currently doing a Battle Book Fear series, well it's a catch up series until episode 6. Um, I recorded some Dirt Star the other day, that should be going out in the next week. So yeah, Battle Block Theatre and Dirt Star until I can get my capture card up and running again. Because my setup's kind of changed a bit. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll update you again next week guys. Bye!